Interview with a Ural Cam representative. Ilya Alexandrovich. Hello. Hello. Let's talk about the project background and try to understand the reasons behind simulator implementation decision. We faced the need for components and high-quality training for our employees. Unfortunately, our plant does not allow for employee training on the existing equipment during the year, since it is always energized because of a continuous production process. Such training is only possible when the plant is stopped for scheduled repairs, which is very rare, once a year or once every two years. Since employees cannot be trained on the running equipment, gaining hands-on skills may take years. The use of VR simulator will help us dramatically accelerate the process. Please, describe current personnel training process. Now, before an employee is permitted to make important critical switching, he must work as an electrician for 2-3 years and take an internship under the guidance of an experienced mentor. Only then he will be permitted to perform some actions independently. Hands-on skills can only be practiced once a year or once every two years, which is hardly acceptable since true mastering requires a long internship, continuous training and repeated performance of the same sequence of activities. Let's talk about the use of the virtual simulator. Routine switching program has two basic scenarios. Shutdown of the RP15 boss first section for repair and bringing it into operation. How many employees will be trained on the virtual simulator and how frequently? We plan to train 15 to 20 people on the VR simulator every year. These are mainly those who must know and maintain substantial equipment. The simulator helps employee get ready for the profession of a shift electrician without visiting a substation. A picture is good and helps to master skills. When operating a running system, an employee will know what to do and will no longer be so scared. The simulator can record training and testing sessions, generate reports and export training statistics. What are the key features you will consider when determining whether a specialist is ready for the safe work performance? I would like to see that an employee not only performs certain operations with high quality and confidence, but also his development progress, such as error rate and error severity reduction, so that there are no critical errors or faults. What main business benefits do you expect to get from the virtual simulator following the pilot operation? First of all, we want to reduce switching operation error rate and enhance reliability of the power supply of the entire enterprise. You are just starting to use the simulator and the business effect is not yet known. However, you have already tried the solution during the acceptance test and obtained a result. Does it meet your expectations? Yes, it does. We have done a lot of work to create this simulator and we hope it will help us a lot in personnel training. Numerous factors should be considered to create a true simulator rather than just a nice VR picture. What your industry peers, who are new to VR, should note to avoid mistakes and get a high-quality training solution. VR simulator developer should have expertise in Russian energy domain and understand what we want and how to achieve this. I would highly recommend you to pay attention to the personnel's feedback. Your expectations should be in accordance with their opinion as evidently they are the vital resource that's going to bring your project to life. That is, how effective and how useful it will be for the employee who makes switching operations and will rely upon the knowledge gained from this program.